Some of the key concerns when it comes to the transition towards electric vehicles are around cost, range and fast charging capability, with the safety of lithium ion batteries being a critical element in all of that. I'm here today at Electronica 2024 at the ST Microitronics booth in front of our showcase for battery management systems. I'm here with Akshay, one of our technical product marketing experts. Hi Akshay, how's it going? Good morning, how are you? Good, great to see you. Thanks. Okay, Akshay is going to help us dive into the world of battery management systems. So before we do dive in there, Akshay, could you kind of give us a, a high level view on what ST's approach or key concern, let's say, is our main focal point for battery management systems today? So, uh, Sara, means you have to acknowledge the fact that EVs are really, really cool. Electric cars are cool, right? Okay. And of course, they target to have a very greener future. Means I can vouch for that since nowadays I'm driving an electric car. All right, fair enough. But I also believe that the widespread acceptance of electric cars will depend on, on one side, how performance oriented these sure. cars are yeah, yeah, yeah. in terms of driving range, in terms of charging time. Yeah. More importantly, it also depends how safe the lithium ion cells yeah, yeah. inside the, the car are, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as you know, means lithium ion cells command 70% of the cost of the electric car. Sure. Hence, each and every cell has to be closely monitored to ensure that they are operating within that safe operating area. Yeah. And yeah. this is where battery management system is really, really the key. Right. Okay. Okay. So I can I can see what you mean, but let's say uh, we want to just for our viewers, we want to give a couple of real life scenarios about the difference that like a really decent battery management system can bring, you know, to electric vehicles. Yeah. So Sarah, besides or before going into the description of the chipset, yes, that we have to it's very complex. Yeah. Uh, we are also introducing a new function called EIS. Okay. EIS stands for Electrochemical Impedance Spectroscopy. Sounds tough. I like the sound of it, yeah. Yeah, let me try to simplify. <laughs> okay. Basically, what we are trying to launch and introduce is AIS in the form of advanced battery diagnostic functions. Right. To really make your electric car much more smarter and much more safer. Okay, we like the sound of that. Yeah, let me let me give you a real life example which people like you, me, my wife and the audience can understand. Yeah, cool. Just imagine we take our electric car to a charging station. Mm -hmm. Normally, I would expect you don't want to wait for half an hour. No, I'm a busy lady actually, I yeah. don't have the time. Correct, correct. So what we are trying to do is, we are trying to supplement the already available state-of-the-art battery management system with okay. this AIS in order to improve or in order to optimize your charging yes. profile. Okay. That means through the help of AIS, we are trying to look inside the cell and depending on the status of the cell, we are trying to adapt the fast charging profile and the time just to make your charging experience seamless and effortless. Okay, wow. Well, yeah, sounds amazing really like deep in there in the cells of the battery okay i mean that makes sense to me you know as nearly a lay person let's say so uh what do we want to do now we want to dive into our our system and give people a bit of a better view on Absolutely. what's uh, the magic behind all of this okay let's go a very top level overview of what we have on the wall yeah sure okay uh, basically what we tried to do was we tried to take our reference eval kits for bms then we try to put them into these three printed boxes. Yep. Okay. Which are representing different ECUs within an electric car. Okay. For example, the battery junction box, the battery management unit with the microcontroller. Okay. The cell module with the cell monitoring chip. Yes. And also we have a uh, DC DC onboard charger combo as well. Okay. Uh, since we spoke about EIS, so what we are trying to do here is the following: we are trying to use the DC DC of the onboard charger excite the lithium ion cells as we were discussing yes okay when you excite the cells the cells have to react like people do yes right? okay so the reaction of these cells is measured in the form of voltage and current to our newest cell monitoring chipset and our current sensor which we are about to launch and let me tell you these are absolutely proven state-of-the-art solutions we have data to support it yes okay. we are in the process of launching them soon okay okay once we measure the voltage and the current data from the excitation of the cells we are sending all this data to our microcontroller the stellar okay which then does all the post-processing that you need for impedance spectroscopy or eis right okay so it's more or less a complete and comprehensive chipset solution and ecosystem starting from cell monitoring chip uh, the smart current sensor, the microcontroller, 
and the result as you see on the screen is here is the live example of AIS happening right in front of you we don't want to show slides we want to give a real demo so this is real this is we're actually charging we're uh, we're analyzing and we're putting yeah. the data straight yeah. to the screen yeah absolutely right okay and um, okay just quick question is this like unique on the market today is this something only ST is doing by any chance it's a complete game changer. Everyone is talking about it. We oh. have done it. Oh, okay. Everyone's talking about it. <laughs> Great. Okay, fabulous. So, okay, one of the big things that's like, you know, striking me here is that these are all ST boards. Absolutely. Okay, so these are all, you know, a mix of, let's say, evaluation boards, prototyping boards that we've designed in ST. Yeah. Obviously, populated with ST components. So we've got our Stellar and various other types of components here that are all working together. So, okay, if, if I was watching this video, I'd want to know, uh, how do I work with ST either to get the boards and use them or even just to collaborate on my own development? So, yeah, what should people do? So there are several ways, means the easiest could be ST.com. Okay. Probably you can also go to our distribution partners. Yeah. Else, you can also come to us. Our doors are open always for the customers. We are yeah. there to help you. We are there to collaborate with you. Okay, great. And on ST.com, I guess there's a world of resources, right? Correct, With respect correct. to the boards correct. and the various, okay. Because generally you can find the Gerbers, you can find the schematics. Absolutely. We've got the development studios for our stellar MCUs, all that. So our goal is really to be true and honest with you. Our goal is that we would like to supplement our superior devices yes. with top-notch go-to-market collaterals, yeah. be it hardware, be it evaluation PCBs, be it software, be it drivers, everything. Yes. We would like to provide a complete ecosystem for our customers to start their evaluation as soon as possible, yeah. keeping their time to market in mind. Yes, of course. Basically, it's the way that we would like to unlock maximum value for our customers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, fabulous. Thank you very much, Akshay. Um, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Um, enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks a lot, and enjoy Electronica 2024. Also thank to you. The Bye now.